Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I'm going to show you how to bind like that. Uh, here we have categories like show all fast food, South Indian foods and meal uh, in the home page. But I want to uh, write here, I want to take it here uh, like uh, categories in this uh, navigation bar and you can say that uh, how to bind uh, in this tutorial just I'm going to show you how to bind select list. Uh, how to bind select list in layout.cshtml file. So here we have two methods to do this uh, things. The first one is the view component and the second one is the session to get the all items. You know that uh, when if you are uh, if you are working with the um, layout.cshtml like that uh, if if you are working with the layout.cshtml file then every time the page is loaded that file will be loaded also because this is the man page and uh, but just I'm going to add a drop down list or you can say the select list right here how to bind the select list using session uh, in a layout.cs system file. So uh, you know that uh, here we have two methods but uh, in this video tutorial just I'm going to add using session and the, in the next video tutorial just I'm going to use uh, a few component. Okay, so here we have now. Okay, so uh, in the home controller, you can say that every time the categories will be loaded right here. So context view model and just after that, here we have the list of categories you can say. Okay, so uh, just I'm going to just convert this categories like uh, categorization. Okay, so uh, here we have JSON convert. JSON convert is actually is not exist. So Newton soft dot JSON and dot serialize object and oops serialize object and what is the object now that is VM dot categories. Okay just I want to convert that uh, into the um, category JSON and now just convert that JSON file into the con uh, into the session uh, so you can use HTTP context HTTP context dot session dot set string in the form of the string just I want to set it here we have used key value pair so you can say uh, uh, so you can say key and the value is what value is that uh, category JSON so category JSON so here we have oops just stop the debugging first and you will see okay so everything is fine now the key is used to get the category JSON file. Okay, so save this and the next uh, thing to add uh, that thing in the uh, layout.cshtml file. So just to open it layout.cshtml file. Okay, before going to add into layout.cshtml file, just uh, update your program.cs file. So here we have program.cs file and just configure session. So builder dot services dot uh, add distributed mem memory cache had a distributed memory cache first of all and after that builder dot services dot add session okay and in this session just I want to configure options and options dot cookie dot name and just I want to take name that is uh, ASP net core okay and the next one is options dot idle timeout and idle timeout is time span dot from minute and just I want to take five minutes only oops oops okay and oops 
there is actually a lambda expression. So, just use ok <coughs> and the next time is options dot cookie dot HTTP only is true and oops options dot cookie dot is essential is true ok. So, uh, here we have just set the cookie for the session. Now, you can use the session like here. So, just static file app dot use session. Okay. Now, save this. Now, after that in the layout dot CSS table file. So, here we have layout dot CSS table file. You can say uh, just use right here in the top of the page. Uh, use this line of code in the code string string uh, session session file and that is string dot empty first thing now the next one is session 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 equals to context dot session dot get a string and get a string that is the key ok so here we have a key the same the same name you can use in the index.css theme file sorry uh, in the home controller here we have a key there is the small name so just you can use key ok now convert that key into the deserialized form so list of category so models and uh, you can say that category list equals to suggestion convert dot deserialize oops deserialize object and that is list of category ok now you can just paste that session 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 ok so everything is fine now here we have a list of category now just I want to bind this category right here in the uh, partial page so here we have a ul list you can say so if you want to bind that uh, category right here so just you can use select list inside the ul so li and in which you can tag select Oops, there is not any tag right here select Now, ID is what? ID is uh, category ID. ID is what? That is ID, you can say. Oops. And the next one is um, ASP items, and ASP items is what? Uh, that is new select list and in which you can take uh, session session no it's not a session session actually it's a category list so here we have category list comma value that is id and the next one is title i mean to say that so in the view model you can check it view model that category uh, item view model uh, item list view model so here we have a category the list of category you can say that uh, that is the just go for the category and id and title so layout.css table id and title ok everything is fine ok and just you can use option 
the left category top everything okay 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 just check it and just after if you have some error then i will solve it wait for some times and uh, i will run this project again and uh, you can see that your uh, your uh, navigation bar have some uh, categories with the select category options and uh, list of categories because your page is rendered okay that's type of error uh, json serialization exception self referencing loop detect for property category with the type fast food dot models dot category with the path of zero dot items of zero so uh, self referencing loop detected for property category okay with the type 